glad to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Oh, this is cool. Just the man I was looking for. How are you? What's going on? What's going on, brother? I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. We just need winning. We just need a winner. That's it. Oh, I want Will. Oh, I want a picture of you. Oh, he spilled everywhere. Good catch. Should we tip him? That's right. Eagles! Yeah! No, no, no! Come on, I need a new mattress. I'm sleeping on the floor. Go, go, go. Checking out this office, it's unreal. This is unbelievable. This is this is amazing. This is immaculate. Oh, nice. If you want to drop your suitcase, you can. Oh. It's not very heavy right now. Yeah. The Mr. Ice suitcase, a little light, but we're going to build it up later today. And that's where Jersey Jerry hit his uh, hole in one right there. This spot where he fucking sat for 36 hours. When they were doing the free throw challenges, I was I couldn't believe how many they hit. I don't even know if I could shoot that many, no. let alone hit. Is this where this is Chef, Donnie. Do Chef Donnie? It's that one right there. Donnie yeah. ever cook up for everyone? Like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every week. Were you involved in designing the whole thing? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, who, who designed it? It's beautiful. Oh, wow. Damn, what a cozy office. This is unbelievable. You basically work in a fucking recess. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's great, it's great. <laughs> Has anybody plowed on this couch yet? Yeah, I think he smokes. He, he plowed? He's yeah. always getting laid, that guy. He must have a magic tongue and a huge wrench. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you producing? No, we're doing crosswords. Yeah. Oh. Never heard of them? No. First of all, these sports books that uh, DraftKings are doing, incredible. And just an overall incredible day. Mincy's great. I love chat with him. I, I don't really know much about the part of the world that he's from in Mississippi and all those. Or is he from Louisiana? Yeah, he was talking about Old Miss like it was <laughs> like it was the Catholic Church. And you have to go there. Nicest campus in North America, he told me. Is he full of shit? Most likely, yeah. Yeah. He said Louisiana's got some of the best cuisine on the planet. Now, once again, he could be blowing smoke up my ass. But a lot of interesting things with uh, Mincy in that conversation. We did the math. We're like, all right, if we're shooting, you know, we kind of knew it was going to be like. I don't know if you'll be able to do that. I, I know, but this is the But so everyone can shoot a free throw. Like, if you're getting RA with a hockey stick, like, there's no math for that. So, thing. what do you want to do? 10, the, it's the, the shootout. The shooter tutor? The goalie thing, yeah. And you'd have to get 30 in a row or something? Yeah, we have it. I know, we need to figure I, I, out. I think, considering this is the full length you have, this is basically like half of the ice. If you put a net against that wall and you're shooting from over there, that's about half ice. It's hard to make it so flat and perfect that long to have it not hit a little bump. Oh, if you're... I can, yeah, I can see it now. I was thinking something where, where we're here and the net is like right underneath the hoop and there's a sugar tutor in. So bottom left, bottom right, bottom, top right, top left, and in the middle, and we gotta get a number and like RA has to hit one, Dave has to hit one, Big Cat has to hit one. And then we'd have me, you, Merles, and Army as like the hockey players. I think that we make a hole this big, about oh half of an inch on each side bigger than the actual puck. And we have to collectively as a group get three in a row. Get the camera in the hole too so you see it coming oh, where you're yeah. like, oh, it's oh, going in, it's I going in, it's going in. Two in a row, it's just like, that's too easy. Three, it's like, they gotta sink a half court shot right on the money. Three in a row. Yeah, I think that if you get this, they have these roller pucks that have these little balls. We actually use them at those TNT studios, so they have weight to them. They are a little taller. And people might see this in the vlog and, and have We might call. have like a uh, fucking backyard rink specialist that could be like- So here's another concept let's before- freeze the... this place out for a week. Get it down to 30 degrees. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be cool to get the United Center booked up if the Blackhawks agree to this. Full ice shots below the goal line into the, end, the net. It would have to be probably like uh, 12 to 15, maybe even 20 in a row. But the key would be is if we could get like, imagine Bedard could like on the 20th one. Maybe we push back to the beginning of next season and or anybody in this chat who's watching this has a better idea of what we can do for a hockey challenge with the Hockey Triplets boys. Let's do a stream. Who knows, maybe I'll fucking miss TNT gigs because we're here for 17 days trying to get a, a puck in a little hole. Yeah, you'll get them talking about it. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Ice con. If you're wondering why we're in Scottsdale. It's gonna be crazy. The Barstool Bar, we came for Ice Con. For anyone who doesn't know Ice Con, Elio, Mr. Ice, he started betting hockey overs, I'd say, 
four years ago, maybe a little longer, and he's hit it about a 70%, close to 70% clip for two years Insane. now. Insane. Mr. Ice has ice people. They're all over the world. Like Minifans. fans. Yeah, they're, yeah, similar. Hockey yeah. Minifans. fans. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Barstool Bar in Scottsdale. We're gonna go to a Arizona, Dallas game. Yeah. We're gonna bet the over. So of course, leading into this event, we had to come be it. We had to come. The city's a dome show. That's like Pasha on the podcast. That's, that's basically the, that, that's the that's ice people. <laughs> that's, that's the ice people coming into Ice Con right here. So we'll let's, see how the game let's goes. Pray to God she's afternoon. coming. Let's pray, pray to God she's coming. is start showing my fucking Toronto Maple Leafs a little fucking respect after this five dude drumming, huh? Fucking ignoring me. They're playing awesome. <laughs> it's, the, it's the regular season still. Oh, here we go. Awesome. We'll see you in the finals. Nervous excited, which is the, the best kind of excited. We're at the mercy of, of these two teams, but Dallas could go over in this game on their own. That's kind of how I'm looking at this. So if Arizona can get a lead, I think we're laughing. Dallas owes us from the other night, so I feel good. I feel good. Shout out to the Coyotes for sending over the cheerleaders and Howard. This is what I used to do when I played here. When I was a healthy scratch, I would jump in a suit. Now we have a reliable guy who's doing all 82 games. Shout out to the new Howler. How do you want me off the wagon? Because I think they've kind of gone downhill since you've been back on. I hopped back. I, I never didn't watch a game, and I hopped back. Well, no, I, I hopped back on. They won 12 of 14. I know you're watching the game, but I hopped back on. They won 12 of 14. Skinner kind of sucks now. How is that on me? They won 12. They won. They, did you hear what I said? They won 12 of 14 when I hopped back on. When you go public on Twitter, they won 12 of 14. That's what I'm saying. But I hopped back with the whole week streak before. Then it's kind of when I when I hopped off, they ran. On the table, then they lost four in a row. Then I hopped back on and they won 12 of 14. But after I hopped back on, they won 12 of 14. It's fucking asshole. Yeah, just got the block button because he, oh, yeah, I know. No, I think no, you're no. having a sensitive day. He's no, probably no. telling me to go fuck my mother. So, what's yeah, your name? At Lionsgate 14. Yeah, there I am, there right is. there. Motherfucking <laughs> loser. Look at this Let's see guy. his profile picture. Look Family man ripping on yeah. professional athletes. Yeah, he had one bad game. He took it. He's yeah. really sensitive about it. No, he probably took it too far. No, okay. I did not. Hey, this is what we do around here. Yeah, we Ice Con brings people it out. together. Yeah. We hug it out. That's the message today. Ice Con and Elio bring the people together. Three plus three equals seven. Let's hit the fucking over. Yeah, there's a gentleman that came in here. He made his his daughter, like eight year old daughter, made this. I thought it was such a great idea. Ice, ice cube, yeah. Ice it looked ice. great. I love it. Mr. Ice, look at Mr. Ice. <laughs> Joe Sackick, Mr. Ice. <laughs> no way, no fucking way. Three plus three, three plus three, three plus three. Celebrity in the house, 
Dave Portnoy, El Prez, doing one of his world famous pizza reviews with Howler Pena. All right, feed him the pizza and let's hear a review, Dave. You know the rules. All right, one bite, Venetia's. First of all, shout out Miss Peaches. Second of all, New York style. Crowd loves Miss Peaches. This is a big slice, probably too big. One bite, everybody knows the rules. What? Well, it's over in the corner. Section 108, what's the review, Dave? One bite. You want it honest or fake? Honest or fake? I, I, I want it for the crowd. Give it, baby. Sell some pizza, Dave. 7.1, fake. <laughs> go, Yotes, go. Go, Yotes, go. Go, Yotes, go. Goals. Go, Stars and Coyotes. <laughs> You want a real or fake? Uh, <laughs> just sell some goddamn pizzas so we can keep the team here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my reputation. You can't be giving out names oh, yeah. to like a toaster pizza. <laughs> Is he gonna do it? Ilya, you're so close! Next up, we have Dave Portnoy in the house! Make some noise, Mullen! Oh! Last time I did this, I had a broken stick, if you remember, in Chicago, so no excuse. Gosh, oh for three. Biz, it's all up to you, my friend. I just want to tell all you Coyotes fans, I love you guys. Hockey belongs in the desert. And shout out to my boy, Bob Heathouse, up in the press box booth. I love you, Bob. There he is, Heater. This one's for you, buddy. We're in one. Last time I looked, it was like 14 minutes left in the second. We had three goals, tons of scoring opportunities. We need a big third. Ottinger's just kicking right now. That's the problem. Somebody needs to run him. All right, Coyotes fans, we're going off the rails here. Jody Jackson get the intermission report off, and I'm going to be taking over. It's a barstool takeover. Dave, uh, how are you liking IceCon so far? Well, we need goals. If there's no goals, it's a stinky event, so we got to get some more goals. So far, it's been brutal. Mr. Ice, what are you thinking of IceCon so far and, uh, and the warm welcome that Coyotes fans have given Love you? it, love it. Section 117, no backs on the seats. Everything else is great, though. Four more goals. Wait, what, what, what's your uh, reaction so far to this game? What do you think the Coyotes need to do to beat Ottinger? I don't really care who B2 <laughs> as long as there's a lot of goals. So in, the, in, a, in a way, it's been an entertaining game, but also in a way, it's been an ultimate failure so far. So we need goals. I don't care if Dallas wins 7-1. I'm sorry to say it. We need goals. They're gonna That's have not to great call for the, a Coyotes uh, broadcast. They're going to call the ambulance with a tw 200 dead bodies in that <laughs> section if we don't get some goals. We love you guys, and thank you. Goals. Magic at the mullet. Goals. 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 Three. Goals. 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 <laughs> Great job, guys. Thank you. dog loser from the minute we got into the arena. It gave us life at the end, but... I think they called the coach and it's told It's 4-2 to with a goal. minute 40 left. He doesn't pull the goalie. He's like, all right, we'll just lose 4-2. Then, at 40 seconds left, pulls the goalie, so 
I think somebody called. We're, we're the, the only coach. ones in the rink chanting, pull the goalie, and they're like, we got nothing to play for. We're the worst team in the league. But it I is wanted it for is. ice, but it, it was What's a loser that? like the rest of the weekend. Yeah, you know, just not, Arizona, not enough. You, they're a young team. Maybe if they pull the goalie a little earlier. Great event. Barstool Sports, DraftKings, really good. Are we going to see another ice con? Yeah, they're already talking about Toronto. That's what the big boss man Dave said. So maybe Toronto next year. That's a wrap. We got to uh, sweat it out, as they say in the gambling world. I was hoping for that three plus three. That would have been the chef's kiss on an awesome weekend. Shout out the Barstool Chicago crew. Uh, amazing facility there. You guys crushed it. And uh, shout out to Mr. Ice and IceCon. First ever. We'll be back. Stronger than ever. Three plus three, baby. Let's go.